Curiosity Challenge. Asking the questions, Amor Rogan. Hello and welcome to University Challenge, where we're about to play the last of this year's first round matches. One university will be making its competition debut. The other has appeared 28 times, but has never yet taken a series title. If they win tonight, they'll go straight through to round two, while if they lose with a score of 160 points or more, they'll enter the repechage at Southampton's expense. Anything less means the end of the road. Attempts to establish a university in York date back to 1617, but were thwarted for over three centuries, first by the English Civil War and later by the foundation of Durham University. Permission was finally granted in 1960 as part of the same programme of university expansion that produced the universities of Warwick and East Anglia. It now has nearly 20,000 students, and notable graduates include the historian Janina Ramirez, the screenwriter Sally Wainwright, and the composers Kerry Andrew and Anna Meredith. Let's meet the team representing them tonight. Hi, I'm Emma Giles. I'm from Cheltenham and I'm studying English literature. Hi, I'm Emma May Smith. I'm originally from Scunthorpe and I'm studying for a Masters in Linguistics. And their captain? Hi, I'm Ollie Smith. I'm from Basel and Essex and I'm studying chemistry. Hi, I'm David Batchelor. I'm from Enfield in North London and I'm studying economics and politics. Northeastern University London is the smallest and the youngest institution represented in this series, established in 2012 and granted degree awarding powers in 2020. It was founded by philosopher A.C. Grayling as the New College of the Humanities, a private university whose USP was high-profile academics delivering small group teaching, paid for by sky-high fees. In 2019, it was acquired by Boston's Northeastern University and in 2020 became publicly funded, with tuition fees reduced accordingly. Playing on behalf of just 500 students, let's meet our first ever team from Northeastern University, London. Hi, I'm Colin Garwood. I'm from Hertfordshire and I'm studying for an MA in philosophy. Hi, I'm Benjamin Schmaler. I'm from Germany, Kenya and Switzerland and I study history with economics. And their captain? Hi, I'm Chloe Rogers. I'm originally from Cambridgeshire and I study history with politics and international relations. Hello, I'm Seamus Conlon. I'm from London and I'm studying for a Master's in Artificial Intelligence. I'll give you a quick reminder of the rules. Starter questions are open to both teams and must be answered on the buzzer without conferring. The first player to answer a starter question correctly wins their team 10 points and a set of three bonus questions worth five points each to tackle together. Fingers on buzzers, here is your first starter for 10. Dating to the first decade of the 15th century, the Ellesmere manuscript is the basis of... York E. Smith. Geoffrey Chaucer's Canterbury Tales. Is correct. Your bonuses then, York, are three questions on the novels of George Eliot. Which of Eliot's novels describes in its first line a river that hurries on between its green banks to the sea and the loving tide, rushing to meet it, checks its passage with an impetuous embrace? It could be Mill on the Floss, maybe. Mill on the Floss, go for Mill on the Floss. Mill on the Floss. Yeah, go for it. Mill on the Floss? It is the Mill on the Floss. Which novel by Eliot is subdivided into several parts, the first of which is titled The Spoiled Child? Later parts include those with the titles Mordecai and Gwendolyn Gets Her Choice. I'm thinking Middle March or Silas Marner. Do you know? I don't know. Middle March, OK. OK, uh, nominate Charles. Middle March. No, it's Daniel Deronda. Oh. Finally, which novel by Eliot opens with the words In the days when the spinning wheels hummed busily in the farmhouses? Try Middle March. Middle March. That one's Silas Marner. Bad oh, luck. <laughs> Another starter question now. Who won five World Darts Championships in the 1980s before succumbing to a psychological condition known as dartitis, sometimes referred to as the Yips? His nickname was the Crafty Cockney. Northeastern Garwood. Eric Bristow. It was Eric Bristow, yes. <laughs> okay, three bonuses then, Northeastern, on West African languages. First, what is the most spoken indigenous language of Senegal, being the first language of approximately 40% of the country's population? French? No, it's Wolof. With varieties such as Twi and Fante, what is the most widely spoken indigenous language of Ghana? I don't know. Just say it's like I don't know. No, it's not Okay, just pass. It's Akan. Spoken by around 30 million people, notably in southeast Nigeria, what is the language of Nigeria's third largest ethnic group? Yeah. What do you think it is? It's the second one. So. Uh, 
Go for them. Nominate Colin. Igbo. Yes, it is Igbo, Igbo, yeah. <laughs> Another starter question. What name links all of these? The first African-American woman to be elected to the US Congress, the US author of The Haunting of Hill House and The Lottery, and the title characters of Charlotte Bronte's second published novel and of L.M. Montgomery's Anne of Green Gables. York Giles. Shirley. Shirley is correct. Yes, well done. <laughs> your bonuses, York, are on an early 20th century singer. Known as the Empress of the Blues, which singer was born in 1894 in Chattanooga, Tennessee, and made her first recordings in 1923? The track Downhearted Blues would go on to sell over two million copies. Holiday. So don't know. Holiday. Holiday. Sorry? Billy Holiday. Billy. I don't know. I mean, we can go for it if we have nothing else. We've got anything. Go for it. Yeah, Billy Holiday. No, it's Bessie Smith. Which Scottish poet published an imaginative biography of Bessie Smith in 1997, republished in a new edition by Faber in 2021? She became the National Poet of Scotland in 2016. Uh, Maybe Duffy? Yeah, carry on. Yeah, Duffy. try that. Yeah, um, Duffy? No, that's Jackie Kay. Smith's tombstone reads, The greatest blues singer in the world will never stop singing. Which rock and blues singer helped finance the tombstone in 1970, the year of her death at the age of 27? Okay. Oh, Janis Joplin. Yeah. Janis Joplin. Okay. Is it? I don't know. Just say Janis. Okay, Janis Joplin. It was Janis Joplin, yes. <laughs> Let's have a picture around now. And for your picture starter, you're going to see a map of part of the United States. For ten points, name the major city indicated. York Bachelor. Pittsburgh. That is Pittsburgh, yes. Well done. <laughs> In the late 19th century, a large number of funicular railways were built across Pittsburgh to aid travel on its many steep hills. Two remain in operation today. For your bonuses, here are three more towns or cities with notable funicular systems. First, what town is this? Its cliff lifts are the oldest funiculars in the UK. Oh, um... Um, that's, that's near Scarborough, isn't it? Isn't it? Is that Scarborough or Whitby? I, can't remember, so I think it's not far off. I don't want to say Scarborough. Okay, yes, yeah? Scarborough? It is Scarborough, yeah. Whitby's just a little further north. Secondly, this South American city, around 30 ascensores were built there in the late 19th century to connect the upper and lower city. Santiago. Okay. Santiago? No, that was Valparaiso. Finally, this French city, where the world's first urban passenger funicular opened in 1862. Lyon could be. Lyon? Right Go for it. Lyon? Lyon is correct, yeah. <laughs> Let's start a starter question now. What name links a county created in 1994 to the north of Dublin with a basalt sea cave on Staffa near the Isle of Mull that inspired Mendelssohn's Hebrides Overture? Northeastern Rogers. Wicklow? No. York Bachelor. Fingal. Fingal is correct, yeah. <laughs> Your bonuses, York, are three questions about British football clubs. Name either of the actors who, in early 2021, completed a takeover of Welsh based National League club Wrexham. Oh, it's... Um, Ryan Reynolds. Yeah, yeah, Ryan Reynolds. Yes, and the other one was Rob McKelleny. Next, promoted to League One in 2022, which Gloucestershire club has been recognised as the world's first vegan football club and is also the first to be certified carbon neutral by the UN? Is it Forest Green Rovers, maybe? Uh, okay. yeah. Forest Green Rovers. It is Forest Green Rovers, yeah. They play on an organic pitch and cut the grass with a GPS-directed solar-powered lawnmower. <laughs> Finally, in April 2013, Wingate and Finchley FC were reportedly the only football club in Britain to hold a minute's silence for which political figure who had been the club's first patron? 2023, was it? 2023. I don't know. I don't know. Mm, a political figure who's maybe died recently. I don't know. I don't know. Pass it. I mean, come on. Yeah, pass. Finchley was the clue. It's Thatcher. Oh. She was MP for Finchley. Another starter now. In biochemistry, hydrogen, a carboxylic acid group, an amine group and a variable R group attached to a central carbon in the alpha type of what class of organic molecules? York O. Smith. Amino acids. Amino acids is correct. <laughs> Two bonuses on the winners of the 2023 Breakthrough Prize in the Life Sciences. Clifford Brangwin and Tony Hyman received the Breakthrough Prize for their work on the assembly of proteins and nucleic acids into membraneless organelles in cells, which play important roles in cellular function and disease. What two-word physical phenomenon allows these membraneless organelles to form? This term can also be used to describe how oil and water remain distinct from one another when mixed. 
Oh, it's sensibilities. Yeah, it's something to do with my cells. Uh, two words. Um, um, uh, hydro. No, that's one word. Uh, yeah, um, hydrophobic mice cells. No, it's phase separation. Demis Hassabis and John Jumper won the breakthrough prize for their role in developing an artificial intelligence called AlphaFold, which can predict how proteins will fold with high accuracy. What company, a subsidiary of Alphabet, created AlphaFold? I think it's Google. Um, there's a few that do it, but I think it's Google. Give that going, yeah. uh, Google? No, sorry, that's not specific enough. DeepMind is the company that I was looking for, which is now owned by Google itself, part of Alphabet. Finally, Emmanuel Mignon and Masashi Yanagisawa were awarded the Breakthrough Prize in part for their research on orexin, a protein that regulates wakefulness. Their research showed that death of cells that produce orexin is a major cause of what disease, characterised in part by involuntary sleep episodes? Narcolepsy, something with narcolepsy. Could be, yeah, I mean, go for it. Narcolepsy. Narcolepsy is correct. Well, Plenty of time in the season. A 1978 single by Elton John, notable for being almost entirely instrumental, an 1815 Walter Scott novel, the second of his Waverley novels, and a 2021 film starring... Uh, Northeastern Garwood. Guy. Guy is correct, yeah. <laughs> Your bonuses, Northeastern, are questions on bakery products, according to Chambers' 21st Century Dictionary. What dialect term does Chambers define as a small, flat, round cake usually made from oatmeal? This word appears at the beginning of the name of a decisive battle fought near Stirling in 1314. Bannock. Bannock. Nominate Garwood? Bannock? Yeah, it is Bannock, yeah, from Bannockburn, of course. What six letter word of Scottish or North English origin does Chambers define as a moist, ginger flavoured oatmeal cake made with treacle? What do you think? Toffee. Pass. It's parking. Finally, what did the 2008 edition of Chambers define as a cake long in shape but short in duration, giving its derivation as the French word for lightning? Eclair. Eclair. It is eclair, yeah. <laughs> Let's start the question. King's Cross in London takes its name from a monument erected in the 1830s, designed by Stephen Geary and surmounted by a statue of which king? The whole edifice proved so unpopular that it was demolished less than two decades after the king's death. Uh, Northeastern Garwood. George IV. George IV is correct. <laughs> Your bonuses then, Northeastern, are three questions on an archipelago. Porto Santo is the second largest island of which autonomous archipelago in the North Atlantic? It takes its name from the Portuguese for wood. Anybody know? Any idea? Dominican Republic. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Dominican Republic? No, it's Madeira. The island of Madeira is home to a UNESCO Natural World Heritage Site that is the world's largest surviving forest of plant species belonging to which family of trees and shrubs? Cinnamon and avocados are products of trees in this family. <laughs> no. Pass. It's Laurel. Finally, Funchal, the capital city of both the archipelago and the island of Madeira, derives its name from the Portuguese word for which aromatic herb? A member of the carrot family, it has feathery fronds and umbels of yellow flowers. Any guesses? Just something? Time. Hmm? Time. Time. No, it's fennel. Just about halfway through now, another starter question, and it's going to be a music round. For your music starter, you'll hear a segment of a popular song for 10 points. Please give me the name of the solo artist who is heard on the recording. Instinctively, you give ah. to me... Northeastern Conlon. Diana Ross. Yep, Diana Ross is correct. <laughs> that was, of course, Diana Ross with her 1980 disco hit, Upside Down, recorded on the Motown label. For your bonuses, you'll hear three further disco songs recorded on the Motown record label. In each case, I need the name of the artist or group. Firstly, this solo artist performing a disco version of a hit he had written. Smokey Robinson? Smokey Robinson is correct. Secondly... Do you think it well. is? No. Oh, oh, Nominate oh, Shmarley. Tammy Terrell. Ah, that is Thelma Houston. Yeah. And finally... Marvin Gaye. Marvin Gaye. You got that in about half a second, didn't you? Yeah. 
Another Scarf question now. During the winter of 1858, sportsman Tom Wills called for a game to keep cricketers fit during winter, leading to the development of which specific sporting code inspired by the football played in English pub... York E. Smith. Association football. Nope, it goes across and you lose five points, I'm afraid. Which specific sporting code inspired by the football played in English public schools? The sport's most successful clubs are Essendon and Carlton, while the 2020 grand final was won by Geelong. North Eastern Galwood. Australian rules football. It is Australian rules football, or AFL, yes. Your bonuses then, Northeastern University, are three questions about asteroids. Named after an Italian city, what scale is used to categorise and communicate the risk of a comet or asteroid impact on a scale running from 0 to 10? An Italian city. Mm. I reckon it might be Pisa. Yeah, yeah. Pisa? Yeah. No, it's Torino. Next, resulting from orbital resonances with Jupiter and named after the US astronomer who first observed them, what name is given to the dips or gaps in the distribution of the orbits of asteroids in the asteroid belt? Did you try something like Cassini? Was Cassini Jupiter? Or was that uh, Saturn, wasn't it? Yeah. Cassini? No, it's Kirkwood gaps. Finally, what name is given to any asteroid gravitationally trapped in Jupiter's orbit around the Sun? Galileo. No, it's Trojan. Five points in it. Another starter question. First recorded in 1664 by the theologian Henry Moore in his book, A Modest Inquiry into the Mystery of Iniquity. In reference to someone with power and sway in the church, what word had a new sense added to its entry in the OED in 2022 with the first citation of 2007, meaning a well-known person who uses social media to promote interest in uh, products... Northeastern Conlon. Influencer. Influencer is correct. That takes you into the lead, Northeast, and your bonuses are on Ireland. In each case, give the name from the description. Your answers all begin with the same three letters. First, a county to the west of County Dublin, whose county town is Nace. Its name appears in the title of the long-lived Fitzgerald Earldom, whose members were especially prominent in the 15th and 16th centuries. I'm going to guess it's like, I guess Kildare, probably. Kildare? Correct. Next, a former prison in Dublin. It gives its name to an informal agreement or treaty of 1882 between Charles Stuart Parnell and the Gladstone government. Kilmainham. It's correct. A city and county of southeastern Ireland, the city gives its name to statutes of 1366 that aim to strengthen the position of the English in Ireland. Southwest. It's been for Kay. Any other places beginning K-I-L? Kilkenny. 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 Kilkenny is correct. <laughs> Let me start the question. The provinces of Chubut, Rio Negro and Santa Cruz in southern Argentina, together with neighbouring regions of Chile. York Bachelor. Patagonia. Patagonia is correct. <laughs> Three bonuses, York, are on hotels in New York. Which hotel hosted the roundtable gatherings of prominent literary figures during which the New Yorker magazine was founded in the 1920s? Could it be the Waldorf Astoria? Could be. What's that? Waldorf Astoria. Oh. Uh, nominate Smith. Waldorf Astoria. No, it's the Algonquin. Nicknamed the Dollhouse due to its often glamorous clientele, which hotel opened in 1927 and was named after a school of landscape painters in 19th century France? It catered exclusively for female guests. Nine. Pass. The barb is on. Finally, the poet Dylan Thomas died at what hotel, notable for its many literary residents? It's on the National Register of Historic Places and shares its name with the football club that won the 2021 UEFA Champions League. I won it for UEFA Champions League. I don't, I don't know. Just Chelsea. Chelsea is correct. <laughs> Another starter question. In philosophy, what is the usual English translation of the German word Entfremdung? as used in the works of Hegel and Marx, among others, to express a state of unnatural and harmful estrangement from one's true... York E. Smith. Alienation. It is alienation, yeah. <laughs> your bonuses, York, are on restoration comedies. In each case, name the author of the plays listed. Firstly, The Forced Marriage, The Lucky Chance and The Rover. No. OK. Keats. No, it's Afra Ben. Secondly, An Evening's Love and Marriage à la Mode. Shadwell? No, it's John Dryden. And finally, The Old Bachelor, Love for Love and The Way of the World. Give <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> okay. Shadwell. 
No, William Congreve. You can keep saying it as many times as you like, it's not going to get it. <laughs> picture round next, then. For your picture starter, you'll see the emblem of an artistic institution. Some helpful wording has been removed. For ten points, please name the institution. Uh, Northeastern Conway. Bauhaus. It is Bauhaus. <laughs> that was the logo of the Bauhaus, an influential art and design school which operated in Germany from 1919 until 1933. Your bonuses are members of the teaching faculty. In each case, name the artist or designer from their work. Firstly, this artist who taught in the bookbinding and stained glass departments. It's Paul Clay. Oh, OK. Yeah. Paul Clay? Yeah. Correct. Secondly, this industrial designer who later became director of the metal workshop. <sighs> any idea? Like, any name of my... <sighs> Just literally... Yeah, no, if, you, you, you know, you know, you've, you've, got, you've got Gropius, you've got uh, Vendermeer, was he? I would go with Gropius. Gropius? Oh, yeah. Gropius? That's Marianne Brandt. Finally, this Russian artist who taught basic and advanced design theory. Kandinsky. Kandinsky. Yeah. Kandinsky is correct. <laughs> Very tight game. Here's another starter for you. Diana, the goddess of the hunt, and Eros, the goddess of love, are characters in which ballet that was first performed in 1876 and which is set to music by Delib? Its title character is a nymph whose name comes from the Latin meaning wood or forest. Uh, Northeastern Rogers. Lasso feet? No. York Eastmith. Sylvia. Sylvia is correct. <laughs> Your bonuses, York, are three questions on salt flats and salt deserts. About half the size of Wales, the Salar de Uyuni is a large salt encrusted area of the Altiplano in which South American country? Bolivia, I think. Okay, Bolivia. Bolivia is correct. Situated southeast of the El Boers Mountains, the Dash de Kavir is a large salt desert in which Middle Eastern country? Is it, is it Middle Eastern? Okay. Um, Azerbaijan? No, it's Iran. Used for car and motorcycle speed trials, the Bonneville salt flats are located in which US state? Utah. 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 Utah is correct. Puts you in the lead with five minutes to go, We're just over. Opened in September 1830 in the first transport tunnel in the world to be bored under an existing major city. The Wapping Rail Tunnel was built to link the docks of which UK city to Edge Hill? York Bachelor. London. No, I'm afraid you lose five points. Uh, Northeastern Garwood. Birmingham. No, the answer is Liverpool. Okay. Another starter question now. Born in Manchester in 1864, Winford Dewhurst is noted for early published studies in English of what art movement? He remarked on the influence of early 19th century English painters such as Bonington and Turner. Your key Smith. Impressionism. Impressionism is correct. <laughs> Your bonuses, York, are on now extinct birds featured in John James Audubon's Birds of America. In each case, name the bird from the description. All three answers require a two-word common name. First, a migratory bird of the family Columbidae that bred in the Great Lakes region. Once one of the most abundant species in North America, it was hunted excessively in the 19th century. Passenger pigeon. Okay. Is it that exact correct? Yeah. Passenger pigeon? Correct. A waterfowl of the family Anatidae it is commonly named after a region of northeastern Canada bordering Quebec. What do I do? Ontario Dock or Okay then. What yeah. what do Ontario Dock? Yeah, I don't know what else. Okay. Right then. I don't know. Yeah, Ontario Duck? I can't yeah. accept that, sorry, it's Labrador Duck. <laughs> Finally, a flightless Atlantic seabird closely related to puffins and guillemots. Uh, uh, no. Californian condor. <laughs> no, it's a great orc. <laughs> Another starter question. In which country were the Bernhardt line, the Gustav line and the Gothic line established to demarcate... York Bachelor. Italy. Italy is correct. <laughs> Your bonuses then, York, are three questions on the Commonwealth Games. The event now known as the Commonwealth Games was first held in 1930 in Hamilton in which country? Canada. 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 Correct. Which Northern Hemisphere city was scheduled as a venue of the 1946 Games, cancelled because of World War II? It would later host, in 1958, the only time its country has held the Games. Give me a country. Uh, Northern Hemisphere, Commonwealth, I don't know, Cardiff. Oh, no, it's not country. No, uh, country, I don't know. Uh, Canada. Well, no, it was Cardiff. You should have listened to Mr Bachelor. Including the upcoming Games in 2026, which country will have hosted the Commonwealth Games the most times? It also hosted in 1938, 2006 and 2018. 2018. That wasn't more than it was in Scotland, was it? No. David, do you know? Could it just be England? Come on. Uh, um, England. No, it's Australia. 
Another starter question. In electronics, what eponymous law states that the ratio of the potential difference between the ends of a conductor to the current flowing through it is constant, usually termed R for resistance? York O. Smith. Is it Ohm's law? It is Ohm's law, yes. <laughs> Three questions for you, York, on cocktails. What short name is collectively given to the family of mixed drinks that contain a base spirit or liqueur, citrus juice and a sweetener? Examples include Trinidad, Pisco and whiskey. Mm. Why are you looking at me? Um... <laughs> Maybe an old-fashioned Go for it. Old-fashioned. They're sours. You should try them. <laughs> Second, from the Persian for rose water, what word denotes a cocktail of a base spirit, commonly bourbon, muddled with sugar and mint and served over crushed ice? It's particularly associated with southern states of the USA. Is I that think that is on. Yeah. Sorry? Is that going to be julep? Could be. Oh, OK, I thought it was old-fashioned, but what did you say? Yeah. yeah. All right, OK, um, nominate uh, Smith. Julep. It is julep. What German-derived name is given to a family of drinks originating in northern Italy that consists of sparkling wine, a bitter liqueur and soda water? The IBA's official list includes a common variety made with Prosecco and Aperol. Oh, not the Spritz. 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 Spritz is correct. Another start question. About 70 kilometres north of Stockholm, which city is home to the largest cathedral in Sweden and seat of the Archbishop of Sweden? The fourth largest city in the country, it is also home to its oldest university. York Bachelor. Uppsala. Uppsala is correct. <laughs> the bonus is York are three questions on authors who wrote novels at an early age. Born in southwest France in 1935, which author is probably best known for the novel Bonjour Tristesse, published when she was 19 years old? No idea. Pass. It's Francoise Sagan. Which Nigerian born author wrote the debut novel The Icarus Girl when studying for A levels? Her subsequent works include Mr. Fox, White is for Witching, and Gingerbread. No? OK, pass. It's Helen Oyoyemi. Who wrote the short epistolary novel Lady Susan before she was 20? It was not published until 1871, more than 50 years after her death. No, it is. No, no. Yes. just name something. Uh, pass. pass, OK. It was Austin. Another starter question now. The group of eukaryotic organisms called the Epistocons encompasses the animal kingdom and which other kingdom characterised by cell walls made of chitin? York O. Smith. Fun uh, fungi? Fungi is correct, yes. <laughs> Three questions then on the author and screenwriter Richard Matheson. First, based on a short story by Matheson, which early television film by Steven Spielberg contains a salesman who finds himself pursued by a crazed truck driver? Matheson adopted the story himself. No, and that the goal, Northeastern University have 120 and York have 190. <laughs> Guys, if only we finished five minutes from the end. <laughs> You made a fantastic comeback and it was level pegging for so long and it just didn't quite happen in the final five minutes. I'm so sorry. But have you had a good time? Yep. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming. We've loved having you. York, 190. You feel good? Yeah. <laughs> Ma massively, <laughs> massively relieved. And you didn't get tested on your Motown knowledge, which is where you guys were pulled up a little bit. I hope you can join us next time for the first of the repechage matches. But until then, it's goodbye from Northeastern University. Goodbye. goodbye. It's goodbye from York University. Goodbye. Goodbye. And it's goodbye from me. Goodbye.